Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today we're gonna learn about potential and kinetic energy. Uh, kinetic energy is something that moves, like I'm eating an apple. When While eating the apple, is something that I'm moving my hand. And potential energy is something when I'm still, it's question. just like How frozen. does potential and kinetic energy work? Oh, well, potential and kinetic energy work by moving, like, kinetic energy is like, I come here and I push my sister. As uh, you see, she she is flying while she's walking. While she's walking, she's moving her, her body, and that is called kinetic energy. And potential energy is something like my mom sitting here, she's doing nothing, and she's still. That's potential energy. As you can see right now, I'm in Nathan's. This was open since 1916. Once you see all these people eating, they're really enjoying. I'm getting hungry right now. Once you see all those people eating, how do you even dare to shove everything in your mouth? Yeah. Hey, as you can see right now, I'm in the Wonder Wheel. We have some person that we can ask them questions. Come on, let's go see. Hey, how does the uh, Wonder Wheel, when was the Wonder Wheel uh, built? It was built in 1918. How long did it take? About a couple of years. It opened in 1920, so it took about three years. Oh, that's really nice. Um, I think that this is the biggest and the oldest wonder wheel I've ever seen. Uh, thank you for giving us facts about this and if you want to if you want to know more facts about this As come with me. That I have really more fun facts um, about the wonder wheel. The stationary is the stationary is about um, potential energy. It is something that doesn't move and that it stays still. And the swimming side is kinetic energy because you get to swing back and forth, which is, makes you really fun. Right now, I'm gonna show you uh, more facts about the Wonder Wheel. Come with me and I'll show you more. Construction began in 1918, opened Memorial Day in 1920, built here in Coney Island, weighs 400,000 pounds, height 150 feet, tallest in the world, capacity 144 people, the only wheel of its kind in the world, featuring 16 swings, cars, and 8 stationary cars, over 30 million riders, never a single accident in 89 years, declared an official New York City landmark in 1989. Wow! That's how cool the Wonder Wheel is. Hey, now we're gonna go to the coolest part ever. The cycle. Uh, ew, this is really dirty, as you can see. Um, I wonder how long this was here. And as you can see, this is potential energy because it's not moving, but it's supposed to be kinetic energy because it's supposed to move. But it's broken down, as you could tell. I really wonder how long it was here. No, really. Hey guys, as you can see now, I am the, in the cyclone. It is the real, a really old ride. And this cyclone has been here for a long time. It was the only one that survived from the old days. As you can see, it was made from wood, which it caused the fire, which people said that there was a curse over here in Coney Island because of the wooden rides. But as you can see, this wooden ride is still surviving. People still go on it, and it is really funky and fun, and it's a really popular, popular, really popular um, game over here in, in Coney Island. It is 85 years old. As you can see, those people are waiting for the cool part. Do you dare to go on it? 
just watch and and you'll see how it switched to potential and kinetic you see oh that's really cool I wonder how people survived on that let's see some more baby that's what I'm talking about look at the speed on that thing Hi, we just found someone that's really special and that's really cool on these things of the cyclone. Um, I will present you to her right now. Um, what's your name? Hi, my name's Nicole and I'm the marketing manager here at Luna Park. I like your name, that's a really nice name. <laughs> it's your name, Nicole? No, my name is Amanda. Uh, can you give us fun facts about the cyclone? Sure, with a cycle up the road. hill, how high do you think it goes? Oh, close. That wouldn't be so much fun if it was 15 feet. This one goes up to 85 feet. And when you're at the very top up there, you can look all around Coney Island. And when you look 180 degrees on both on your left and right side, you'll see the water and the beach and the boardwalk. It's a beautiful sight, especially right now since we've got the sun going down. It'll be a beautiful sunset. But if you're paying too much attention to the sunset, you might miss the first drop Ooh, and that's a big one the first drop is so much fun how many drops do you think we've got on the cyclone i think there's about four mm, close a couple more uh, seven close we actually have 12 drops but we've got five turns and nine hills so there's a lot of woo woo it actually goes up to 60 miles an hour 1,280. Oh my gosh, I like your guess. That was very specific. I, it's actually 2,640 feet. So if you can imagine on a wooden roller coaster, so it's not steel, you've got the uh, 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 for one minute and 50 seconds. So when you come through the roller coaster at the very end in the station, you come through here with a big smile on your face after riding for almost two minutes on that thing. And it's very excellent to be a part of a roller coaster, not on its birthday year, but also also, I don't know if you know this, but New York City made the Cyclone roller coaster a New York City landmark. Can you believe that? Wow. Well, actually, I did know that. I learned that from school, and it's really cool to know about it, that. I would like to know more. Excellent. I'm glad you're interested. What New York City does to protect the things that it cares about is puts them in a status called the landmark status so that New York City says, hey, we know we've got a wonderful roller coaster here and we're going to protect it because of its wood and being by the ocean, it gets a lot of changes to it. So we need to be careful and every single year we make changes to it. For example, this year we did almost 300 feet of track updates. Next year we'll do almost 500 feet of track updates. So by the, this time next year, the first, the second, and the third hill will have some great changes to it so that it's still the cyclone we know and love, but at the same time, it's a little bit smoother, right? <laughs> That's really cool, and thank you for giving us so much facts about it. Uh, do you know uh, anything else about the cyclone? And why wasn't it burned down and like the rest of the rides were burned down except for this one? Sure. Actually, there's a couple quick fun facts that you mentioned in there. Uh, the cyclone's been through a lot of decades and 85 years. And like you said, there's been a lot of fires in this area. And you'd think with a wooden roller coaster, right? It actually, the closest it came to damage was in the 70s. It was actually... That's really cool to know all these stuff. And thank you so much. Sure. And Oh, I like hugs. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. We're glad you're here. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. No problem. And thank you for giving us so much information about the cyclone, and that really helps me a lot. Excellent. I just went on the cycle and it was so cool. It was so much fun. But it was kind of bumpy though, it kind of hurts. But if you ever go on it, good luck.